Hey, welcome to my laptop. Here we switch about skateboard and we have fun with microphone. Make sure you drink to my curtain. In this project today, we're going to be creating Mad Libs, a super simple Python project. So here I'm on replit, replit.com, and I can create a REPL. I want Python, and I'm going to call this Kylie's Mad Libs. So we're going to create this REPL. Okay. So we have this file called main.py and then we have our console over here. This should look familiar from our lessons. In Mad Libs, what we wanna do is basically have the user input some sort of adjective or noun or whatever word, and then we wanna insert it into a sentence. So this specific project will get us used to variables and strings. And I guess string operators because we'll be concatenating the string or using something called f strings. So to get started, how do we get some user input? Well, I'm going to give you guys the answer to that. We can use a keyword called input. So for example, here I can set my variable example equal to some input. And then if I insert a string in here, when I run this program, what's going to happen, it's going to print that string and then it's gonna ask the user to input something. So for example, input a um, letter. And then later, so now whatever the user inputs is going to be saved in the variable name example. So if I then go ahead and print example later, then it'll actually print out that example. So if I input the letter B, then I'm, so this part here is this line where I'm inputting the letter. And then when I print, it's this line here. So I'm printing B. So now we know how to get some user input and then it saves that user's input as a string under whatever variable that we set this to. So how would I make a Mad Libs out of this? Well, first in order to make a Mad Libs, I kind of need to know what my story is gonna be. Right, so here let's set Mad Libs equal to, and then it's gonna be some string. So um, for example, hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we learn about programming and we have fun with code. Um, maybe I can say something like, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay. So how do I create a Mad Libs out of this? Well, first let's think about the words that we want to remove. Okay. So maybe instead of YouTube channel, I can replace this with some sort of noun, any noun. So if I want to concatenate strings, remember we learned that we can add something, right? We can add two strings together. And here I'm just going to have some variable noun and I'm going to change this variable name to noun. So I have some noun and I'm gonna say the input for that. Well, let's just ask for a noun, okay? So it's gonna be, hey, welcome to my whatever noun. And then here we, maybe instead of learn, we can do some sort of verb. So verb equals input, and then we're gonna have the user input a verb. So instead of learn, we can say, okay, some verb. Here we blank about maybe instead of programming, we can have again some noun. So we, we can learn about any type of noun out there. Noun two. So I'm going to input another noun. And the reason why I need two separate variables for these two nouns is because they're gonna store different things, right? If I were just to use noun here, it would actually take this first string and put it in both places. So here actually I should have a two after this noun. And we have fun with, all right, let's ask for another noun, noun three. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this line. Cool. And then lastly, make sure you, maybe we'll just add another verb. 
And then to my, let's just make this another noun. Okay, so I need one more verb and one more noun. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these lines. Verb two, noun four. All right, so let's see what happens when we run this. All right, we have to enter a noun. So a noun might be playground. Verb might be swim. Another noun is phone. Another noun is lamp. Another verb is um, skate. Another noun is castle. Oops, okay, nothing happened. And that's because I forgot to actually print the final Mad Libs, right? So I forgot to show you guys, well, the computer. I forgot to tell the computer to show us, hey, what is our final string? So let's at the very end print our Mad Libs. Now, if I do all this again, so noun, playground, I don't remember what I inputted, so swim, uh, another noun, castle, another noun, dog, verb, skate, and one more noun, um, river. Okay, so hey, welcome to my playground. Here we swim about castle and we have fun with dog. Make sure you skate to my river. So it doesn't make much sense, but it's kind of funny. And what you can do is you can also create your own Mad Libs by writing your own string and simply concatenating different values where you're inputting some strings. Okay, so this also looks so a little bit messy, right? With all these plus signs and you can't really tell where your spaces are. So I'm gonna show you a different way to write this. It's something known as an F string. So instead, what we can do is we can put an F before the string starts. That's telling Python, hey, this is an F string. So something like this. And wherever you see this plus thing, we can instead replace it with brackets and input the thing that we wanna put in there. So here we want this noun to be inserted into the statement here. And then we want verb, so actually this side, we want verb to be in here and a noun two to be there, noun, three here, verb two here, and noun four here. So if I got rid of this line here and I run this, okay, I'm gonna have to come up with everything again, so please bear with me. Okay, um, let's do laptop, a verb, switch, um, a noun, skateboard, uh, another noun, um, microphone, verb, mm, drink, and one more noun, curtain. Okay, so now you'll see that we get the same sentence except with our inputs. So, hey, welcome to my laptop. Here we switch about skateboard and we have fun with microphone. Make sure you drink to my curtain. Okay, you could also specify, you know, it kind of sounds awkward with skateboard and microphone. Um, we might tell the user, hey, make these plural. So we could actually say for nouns two and three, make this plural. And it would work the same way. Now, if you build your own Mad Libs, you can actually go onto the Discord and share your Mad Libs with the community. I'm sure that people would love to. So if you go on Discord, you can actually share your Mad Libs with the community. On Replit, you can share your REPL. So here I can actually publish this REPL. I can click publish, write a little, you know, description, keep going.
and then finally copy the link. Now this link, you can post that on Discord and hopefully other members of the community might join you and you guys can all do each other's Mad Libs. So check it out. By the way, there's a Discord channel that I created to help people like you learning Python learn together as a community. So check it out in the description below. See you guys next time.